As global temperatures rise, water on Earth's surface evaporates faster, creating more clouds and more storms. Look down over the Atlantic. Satellites capture clouds shifting into shape. They begin to spiral and race. Like all hurricanes, this storm is given a name. Harvey. Hurricanes inherently are dangerous. The strongest storm I've been in has been well over 150 mile an hour wind. Very strong winds. And it's a pretty impressive thing and you really respect Mother Nature. Major Kendall Dunn and his crew are part of the US Air Force Reserve 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron. The Hurricane Hunters. So the overall mission of the 53rd Hurricane Hunters is to find the fix, the center, zero wind inside of a hurricane. To collect data crucial to understanding where the hurricane will make land, they must fly into Harvey. Get the clearance. I'll check. All right. Okay, nose gear pin and chunks are removed. Aircraft operating manual suggests not flying through heavy precipitation or thunderstorms, but we have to. Officials high in the United States military said, hey, we'll accept that risk because the data is so valuable. We'll put our lives on the line to go get it. just don't know what you're going to be faced with. The hurricane hunters are closing in on Harvey. It's now 200 miles across. with wind speeds of over 100 miles per hour. The satellite's got a good picture, but until you get into that storm, nobody really knows. This could be bad. See the radar shots of this thing, it just takes up the entire Gulf. Number one, Yankee contact Jacksonville, center one, three, five. Some bumps coming up shortly. But once we're starting to hit the heavier turbulence, hitting the tropical storm type weather, we just have to lock it in and we're there for the ride. Here it comes. Once we get in that eye wall, the wind speeds begin to pick up. Everybody's paying attention. Okay, now we're getting some winds, huh? You can hear the airplane itself begin to accelerate, decelerate. You can just feel the pressure against the controls. Well, she's cooking now. The aircraft begins to do what the storm wants it to do, not what you want it to do. Get your heart racing a little bit. I wall sun's getting about 90 knot winds at about 1,000 feet. Kind of rub the old aircraft and just tell her, come on, girl. And then you pop out in the middle of the eye, and uh, it's one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen. The strongest storms will get into a stadium effect. You can see all the way up, 
This could rise up to 40,000 feet. It's so strong that it's pulling all clouds to the edge. There's nothing in the middle. We are trying to find the center. We're actually looking for wind speed zero. Once in position, the crew release weather instruments. Mark this spot, one second. Can't see the surface, clear to drop. All right. Once loaded. All right, go ahead. Sun away. They record pressure, temperature, humidity, and wind data as they fall towards the surface. That's the information National Hurricane Center wants to see. That's what people on the ground want to know. Hey, where is this thing exactly? And then based on that, they could take that data and figure out how strong it is from that center point. Oh yeah, she's cut too now. You don't really know somebody till you give them a hug, and basically we're out there hugging storms. And uh, once we get out there and do that, we know them pretty intimately. The data reveals that Harvey will make landfall in just eight hours, triggering an evacuation down the coast. It's one of the only military missions out there that you're making an instant impact. Uh, while we're still flying, they're taking that data and issuing warnings to millions of people. Before we even land, uh, that information is being put out. People are evacuating, and as you're flying, you look down and you see houses along the beach. You realize those people's lives will probably never be the same. Satellite images taken over Texas reveal the aftermath of devastating flooding. Caused by over 140 centimeters of rain. Harvey was one of the most powerful storms to hit the US, and the wettest in American history. It's predicted that an ever-warming planet will produce more storms. But with the help of the hurricane hunters, and the view from space, we can prepare for them.